Hi, this is Innovators Pod at Massachusetts Innovation Night 76 in Bedford, Mass, and I'm with Fernando from SUNU. Hi, Fernando. Hi, it's great to be here. Thank you so much for having me. So tell me all about this. I just tried this on. It's a uh, wristband for the visually impaired, and it's basically sonar on your wrist. That's right. It's a... Uh, Sunu, we at Sunu we created a, uh, a wearable device that's essentially a sonar flashlight for the visually impaired. Uh, the reason is uh, because freedom of mobility for 280 million people around the world who are visually impaired is a timeless problem. It's the biggest barrier to independent living, a barrier to social inclusion, and even a barrier to living a productive life. But we believe that technology can help augment human perception uh, and basically change the way we interact with our surroundings and our environments. So we created this wearable device, which is, which is a wristband that uses ultrasound and echolocation to sense the proximity of objects and then talk to the user via haptics and vibrations to the wrist. So the person essentially is seen by, by using echolocation, the same thing that bats and dolphins use in the wild. Can you hold it up for a second and yep. see it? No, move over, over this way more, I think, and up. Okay. And back, right in front of your face, actually. Would okay. be good. There it is. Okay. So, and hold it up a little higher. There it is. But it has three buttons on the top, which uh, have Braille, I guess, on them. Or one, two, and I'm not sure what the middle one is. But I wore this walking around here, and it was it was really kind of cool because there's little walls and stuff. And as you go, it would start beeping faster and faster as I got close to a wall. And when I went to a gap, it would shut down. This is cool. Thank you. Yeah, the idea is that we, we want to make uh, assistive technologies that are that, that are beautifully, beautifully designed, that are discreet. Uh, in fact, only 2% of people around the world who have visual uh, impairment, these are people who could have like peripheral vision loss or cataracts, won't use a mobility aid. And most aids basically help you make you feel labeled or stigmatized, and they're quite embarrassing to use, to be, to be quite frank. Um, you know, I have low vision and I'm legally blind, yet I don't use the common mobility aids that, that other people who are completely mm -hmm. blind would use. Um, also, a lot of the technology aids are clunky, they have poor user experience, and they take many months to learn how to use. Uh, Sunuband uh, is actually, uh, number one, is very discreet. The user, it basically looks like a Fitbit. Uh, very, right. you know, no one knows that you're using a mobility aid. And it actually has a, has a great interface for the user to tune or change the feedback and adjust it for, for uh, however they want to use it. And then the third thing is that it's very easy to use. In fact, we've tested with people who are completely blind and with only a minute of instruction, they've already taken the device and start using it and start uh, walking and being mobile with, with the device. Wow. So how long, you're in testing mode, I would assume now, or is it? shipping product right now we're, we're in a public beta we we just came out of mass challenge last year we okay. won one of the, the gold award uh for the 2014 program excellent congratulations and thank you and uh we've also uh won the uh, perkins assisted technology sidecar prize uh we we've been testing and partnered with perkins uh school for the blind uh and validating our technology and right. been working with a variety of organizations and lighthouses for the visually impaired around the country and some in, in, in europe as well uh, and we're launching our public beta. So some of these wristbands are for, for uh, we'll be uh, working with people who can write about it, talk about it, raise awareness of the product. Uh, so, so that way we can uh, sell out our first production run before the end of the year. Cool. And you're here lo looking for what, funding just to show the product? Um. So we're, we're here to, uh, to raise awareness, to demo the product and, and, and raise awareness about assistive technologies. Um, Boston is a great place for technologies, right. uh, especially wearables, to happen. Uh, we want to build community within companies that, that are and wearable companies that that are um, uh, creating adaptive technologies for a variety of of, uh, uh, of disabilities. And obviously, we, we're here to to demo the product, uh, tell tell everyone that you know we're bringing this to market. This is this is you know the people who are visually impaired. The market's asking for for a device like this, and we're here to bring it. Awesome. I, I think it's absolutely incredible. And I'll actually, I, I run a, uh, a meetup group, Wearables New England. Oh, great. And, and I'll put word out, word out through that also, let Absol people know about this. Oh, that would be fantastic. And we're also looking to partner with um, with investors or people who, who would partner with us on, uh, 
and, and exploring this mission together. Uh, so we're always open to, to talking with uh, uh, people who are interested. Cool. So how do people get in touch with you? Uh, website, Twitter? Yes, absolutely. All the above. So they can visit us at www.sunu, S-U-N-U dot I-O. Uh, you can reach me personally at Fernando, F-E-R-N-A-N-D-O, at sunu dot I-O. And our Twitter handle is sunu underscore I-O. What was that again? Sunu underscore I-O. I-O. Okay, great. And I'll put those before I produce this. I'll put those on the, on the Oh, great. Video. I appreciate it. Great. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.